Oh yeah! What's up everybody, Shadow Ninja here, and welcome back to another Rage Quit video. Today we got another For Honor video covering the new Blades of Persia event that just hit For Honor. This is a Prince of Persia uh, crossover event, and this is really cool, guys. I was not expecting this at all. I had no awareness of the, this event. I did, however, see a uh, sandstorm on the Faction War map a couple days ago when I was playing. It was on the night side, and it was kind of migrating its way over. I thought maybe this would be an indication of a new Night Hero, and a couple other YouTubers thought that as well. But we have the Prince of Persia, Blades of Persia event, the crossover, which gives us really cool content, a new game mode, some cool cosmetics and executions. So guys, let's waste no more time and let's hop right into the good stuff. Alright guys, with this new event, we have some really cool cosmetics, plus this execution that is derived straight from the Prince of Persia games. And I really like the content in this update so far. There's a lot of diversity, and of course we do get two illustrious outfits. They're not faction specific, they're uh, similar to the other events. And each character gets the same illustrious outfits, they get two to pick from. And uh, we also have an extant expansion on the original Battle Pass, which is a event Battle Pass, which will give us ornaments, uh, battle outfits, and of course this really cool effect that we can put on any one of our characters at the end of the tier list. But guys, uh, what's probably the, the highlight of this update is the new game mode. This limited time event is called Ruler of Time, and as you guys can see, it takes place on the harbor map. And also, as you can see, all the minions are transformed to look and pay homage to the Prince of Persia games. And these are some really nice touches throughout the map. Everything is completely washed over by sand. The map doesn't even look how it is supposed to. As you can see, some of the buildings are transformed into something a little more uh, towards the style of Prince of Persia's games, and I really like it. Probably the most iconic feature that is going to draw a lot of players into this uh, map rotation, though, is the fact that you can actually fight the Prince of Persia himself. Now, he is a level 3 bot, and he plays exactly like how Tyandi does, but he has a lot of cool tricks up his sleeve. He can teleport, he can heal himself when he is at a low state of health, He's super strong, he has a bunch of hyper armor without every single attack, and probably my favorite part is he is non-biased to any teams, which means that no matter who you're fighting on or whose side you're with, uh, he will fight you, attackers or defenders. So it's really cool to see if certain players will actually band together to fight the Prince of Persia, or if they will fight each other and then go after the Prince to get the really high points that will actually help your team out a lot. But guys, this is going to wrap up this content update. I am really enjoying the Prince of Persia update, the Blades of Persia event uh, so far in For Honor. Watch out for more content in the future though, because the devs have stated and confirmed that there are two parts to this event. There is the Chapter 1, and then on the 19th, I believe, there's Chapter 2, and there's supposed to be some really cool changes uh, in this game mode. So guys, uh, thank you all for watching. If you did like the video, please do not hesitate to make it blue and support the channel even further by subbing to the Rage Quit channel if you haven't already. But guys, my name is Shadow Ninja, and you've just watched another Rage Quit video about the Blaze of Persia event in For Honor. Thank you all for watching again, and as always, I will see you on the next one.